Hello. Welcome to another tutorial for Butterfly Interim Animation 2. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at slide keyframes specifically for the new 1.3 update. Uh, the update adds a new relative motion for slide keyframes and that makes it a lot easier to move objects around on more complicated paths than you were able to do before. So to start off I'm going to start with a new animation. Start from scratch. And I'm just going to draw a little simple face shape and we're going to move this thing around. All right. In the original version of Butterfly, in order to move this shape, you'd have to copy and paste it uh, using the select box. And not only would that be time consuming, but it would also eat up all your cells because each frame position would take up a whole other drawing. And you only have 100 of those. So the slide keyframes are really useful for saving cells and also at your time. What I'm going to do is just go to frame 0 here on the timeline, select Add Keyframe, and here we have the types of keyframes listed, and we want Slide. For the angle, we want to, let's just have it move from left to right, at a speed of say 6 is good, and then we want to set our start position. So I'm going to have it start just off screen. These checkboxes set their accelerate and relative uh, motions. For now, let's just leave those off. And we'll see what we get. There's our shape moving from left to right. And we didn't have to do any copy and pasting. Uh, it's looping when it hits the end frame. And I'm going to just move that way out of the way so that we don't need to uh, worry about that for now. So let's add a second keyframe once it gets to sort of about this point on the screen, say frame 60. Now what we want to do, we're going to add a keyframe and say we want it to move upward now, like that. All right, let's see what that looks like. We're playing, and then when it, when it gets to move upward, it doesn't really do what we expect. That's because it wasn't on relative, it was on absolute motion. So what that meant was, let's take another look at this keyframe, it started negative 300 along this axis. So if I bring this back to zero, you'll see it's, there's our starting point. It was basically acting like we were completely starting from scratch again. What we want to do is check relative, and what that means is start from where you left off on the last keyframe. So we're going to say start at position zero relative to where the object is now. So now if we play through, it's playing it hits that keyframe and it just smoothly changes direction. Let me change the time scale so you can see those two keyframes. So there's the first keyframe, it hits the second keyframe. All right, let's do that again just so you can, so it's a little clearer. So we're gonna add a keyframe, we've got relative positioning, and then now we're just gonna change the angle. So we're gonna go back out in this direction. All right, so now we'll start. Hits that keyframe, hits that keyframe. So we can just do as many of those as we want. Let's have it go back up this, this way. And we'll like make the speed faster. And then let's say go up here. Add a keyframe. We'll have it go back down. And when it gets back down here, let's do one more thing. I'll show you what the accelerate checkbox does. So for this one, we'll go back to moving left to right. And we'll use a slow speed, say speed of two or three, and we'll check accelerate. And what that means is that it starts from a standstill and slowly increases speed. So it gets faster. Um, so now let's play through the whole thing. So there you have a brief introduction to the new and improved slide keyframe in Butterfly Interim Animation 2. Check out the second, more advanced tutorial to see how to use multiple cells in conjunction with slide keyframes.